Day by Day is a great song, and you can play it in several different styles. Um, one style is the one I just introduced there, which is my favorite. It's the three-note chord style. You could also play it in octaves with both hands, octaves and chords. Um, and you can play it in a very simple version with one finger melody, which I might suggest initially just to get uh, up and running. So if you do that, you would want to take the hymn book and follow the top line to learn the melody. That's the only purpose that I can see for the hymn book is the top line. Um, unless you're in a choir, then it's good for singing four-part harmony or in a quartet or something. But um, you can learn the melody of the various songs by playing the top line. So I would suggest that. If you can pick it out just by ear, that's great. Start on G. Day by day and with each passing moment. Okay, or just read the notes. I'm going to reposition the camera here so you can see my hands a little better. But uh, that's the first step is to learn the melody one way or the other. Either read the notes from the top line in the hymn book or pick it out. Um, it's written in the key of E flat. There's an E flat chord right there. E flat, G, B flat. Now that's the one chord in the key of E flat. The four chord is the A flat, A flat, C, E flat. And the five chord is the B flat. B flat, D, F, and it's often used with the seventh, okay? And it will be in this song. So step one, learn the melody. And with each passing moment, strength I find to meet my trials here. Okay, once you have that down, now you can start adding bass notes and accompaniment, okay? The first chord that we're going to have is, is the E flat chord. That's pretty simple, right? E flat bass, or you could do a three note chord if you want. Now A flat bass. There's a minor, I didn't tell you that at first, but there is a minor in this song, F minor, F, A flat, C. It's similar to the A flat, but it drops the E flat and adds an F instead. F minor. Okay, going on. Strength I find to meet my trials here. Okay, let's break that down. Strength I find B flat bass and a seventh. That's your five chord with the seventh. F, A flat, B flat. There's many variations of the five with the seventh added, but this is one of them that I like. And then you could just go to your E flat, but I like to do the pivot of the four chord. Sounds nice. It's sort of the amen cadence, which is common in a lot of hymns. Okay. So um, we'll stop there and I'll record another video to, uh, for you to learn the rest of it. But that's an intro to day by day. Once you get that down, you can expand to two note harmony in the melody if you like. Sixths, sixths and thirds. Da, da, da. Okay. And then thirds. It switches between sixths and thirds. That's kind of advanced. We'll look at that another day. For now, just get the melody with your right hand, one finger, and then figure out those chords with your left hand. One finger bass three note chords and it sounds great it's it's really a good it's like getting to first base with him playing um, you really can't get to second base and third base until you get to first base and so this is a very good quote first base to get to in him playing is just to be able to play hymns with a prominent right hand melody and a more subdued left hand bass and chords bass chord bass chord okay have a great day